tonight's demo. Um, tonight's demo is going to be about getting light reflection on glass. And I'm not talking about physical glass, but actually painting glass and making it look reflective. Okay. And then the liquid inside this glass, um, getting the reflection to show on that as well. All right. So I'm, I'm really excited to do this because this is going to be something that's going to lead into uh, a future painting that I want to offer as a class in 2024. And so this is a really nice way for you to get an understanding of what that is like, because it's not that hard once you understand what you're trying to create. Um, it just takes some thought, okay, about what comes first and how you layer things. Okay. So let's get overhead and I will get started with the demo. There we go. Okay. So here we have a sketch that I've done. Let me make sure I'm straight. Sorry. Okay. That's better. So here we have a sketch that I've done of a wine glass and this is the photograph. Okay. So I want you first to take a look at this photograph and you're going to see the light reflection. Now, not every glass is going to look exactly the same. Um, every time you paint it, what you want to do is get an idea of where do you want light to be reflected. Okay. But understanding that usually when you photograph something or when it's sitting in, um, daylight or around, um, right, you know, like lamp lights or whatever, that it's going to reflect whatever light is in the room in some way, shape or form. Okay. So it's a good idea to just, um, take some time to look at that and understand everything else is transparent. Okay. So the table that it sits on is trans is behind it. The wall is behind it. So everything you're going to see is going to show through the glass and the parts that you want the viewer to see is going to be the, the physical boundaries of the glass. All right. Which are going to be a darker shade of whatever is behind in the case of the top of this and down here would be darker here. And then the reflection is a white or a shade of whatever the light reflection is. So if it's a yellow lamp or a candle, maybe it's a different color, but in this case, it looks like they had some, some light bars that were reflecting the light very nicely. So it made a really pretty example. Okay. So I've sketched out my wine glass here and I'm going to just share with you how I would go about creating this. Okay. And then I'm not going to make it exactly the same as that picture. I'm just going to give you an idea of what you want to look at when you're creating something on your own. Okay. So let's put out some colors. I'm going to put out my background color, which is going to be a little combination of, um, oh, I thought that was, <laughs> I thought I grabbed coffee latte and I got cinnamon, but that's okay. Cinnamon will work. So I've got some cinnamon, which is a discontinued color, but it's good to use for practice. Okay. And then I have some wicker white and then for the color of the liquid in there, which is a wine, a dark red, we've got some berry wine. How appropriate. All right. And then to do, um, some darkening on that berry wine for the shaded or in out of light area. I've added some real brown. Okay. All right. Now I have some floating medium, which we're going to need to use quite a bit of to get the construction of this glass to work. Okay. So there's all my colors. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to, so the background of my wall color is actually going to just be my tan paper that I have this art paper here. And for those of you who are going to ask, this is the tone tan sketch paper by Strathmore. Okay. Uh, nine by 12, 80 pound. Okay. All right. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to get my large mop. This is a three quarter inch natural hair mop, and I'm going to load this with medium. Okay. So I'm going to pick up a bunch of medium and push it into my brush. And then I'm going to come over and get some of the cinnamon. 
Okay, a little more medium and some of this brown, okay? And so I'm gonna come first. We wanna work from front to back, and in this case, like I said, my, my back wall color is gonna be this tan color of my paper, but on my table, I'm going to just go ahead and put this color in here. So I'm gonna go right across. See how I went right across the stem of my glass? But it's nice and thin enough that I can still see the glass, okay? Gonna get some more medium and more of the cinnamon, a little bit of the brown. So this is kind of a wood grain table this is sitting on. All right, so coming through here, more medium, cinnamon, coming right down in front here. Okay, so just to get some background on behind this glass, okay? A little bit of that cinnamon. I personally liked cinnamon. I was sad when they took it away. Okay. There we go. Okay, so these mops are wonderful for getting a background in quick, as you can see. Hello, Miss Kim. Okay, so now what I want to do is get my wine color in here. And then we're gonna work on um, the structure of our glass, okay? So I wanna wipe this off. Let me get it clean, actually. Okay, and I'm gonna come pick up medium again and I'm gonna get some of this berry wine. All right, and I'm gonna come right in here. Now this is gonna be much pinker brighter than we want it to be, which I knew would happen. And so we're gonna come bring some of that brown in here to tone it down just a little bit. But see how, let me turn this. This mop really helps fill this area smoothly and nice and quick. There we go. All right, and so now what I wanna do is pick up on the same brush just a little bit of this brown with the berry wine. So berry wine and the real brown. Oops, oops, that's a lot. There we go. And we're going to darken down into the glass, right? The top might be a little lighter. There we go. All right, so I'm trying not to make it one solid color, can you tell? So I've got some lighter color at the top and then it's darker down here at the bottom. Now, the last thing I wanna do is the light reflection um, will become more apparent where it goes once we create the lighter reflection on top or the, the glow so I'm just gonna take the same brush and get a little bit of white. See that? And right in here on this top, we're going to add a lighter look as light is hitting that, okay? Now wipe this off and I think we're done with that brush, okay? So we've got the content of our glass and we're gonna let that kind of set and dry. And while that's drying, I'm gonna work on down here because I needed this to dry first. So we're working at it in stages, okay? So first I'm gonna get a, um, what is this, a number eight flat. Okay, and now remember that this background of the stem even is ref is showing um, the color of the wall, the table, everything that's behind it. And so what we really wanna do is focus on creating that look of, of the glass itself, okay? So I'm going to come and get, actually I'm gonna work with a, first uh, the 16 because I wanna get medium 
and side load some white, okay? You don't want the glass to look cloudy. You're just trying to create the boundary of the edge of the glass, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is come down here, and so now let's get closer. There we go. And we're gonna set this boundary of this foot right here, okay? So I need to work that white over. It's not over far enough, so you have to push that white by twisting the brush to the right side, it's gonna shove all the color to the left, okay? And then you can do this here as well, see that? So I'm gonna come around this side here and stand up, okay? Get a little more white. And on this side, we're gonna come around past the stem here Shove that over, twisting to the left. Now it's gonna shove the white to the right. And it's more faint on that side because I'm gonna have this side be my dominant reflective side, okay? All right, now what we wanna do is right here on the front, on the chisel edge, we're gonna just stand up and pull align with the back of our brush right in front there. Now it's not showing very strongly, so I'm gonna get a little stronger white and we'll try that again. There we go. All right, so you can kind of see that. And I'm gonna push this down just a little bit. There we go. So think about glass, is, it's got a thickness to it as well, so this is the bottom edge that's touching the table. And so then now we wanna come across the top edge right there. Okay, so that you see them both. A little more medium. And now right in between here, I'm going to pull a reflective light that's gonna be on the rim of that glass, okay? So what I'm doing, I think I need stronger. I've gotta get, let me get my script liner and some white. And let's just come in here. There we go. That's what I wanted, is I want that strength of that light hitting that curve right there, okay? So sometimes it's a liner, sometimes it's a flat. <laughs> you never know, right? Okay, so here, this is what I'm looking at. So I'm getting this light right here, and then you see how that kind of bounces back up towards the stem? We're gonna work on that next, okay? So coming back to my 16, I've got some white side loaded, and we're gonna come from the right side here under the bowl, and we're gonna push down Make it a little more. Oops, I'm losing it. Needs to be strong on here. This is not floating, all right? This is on the chisel and I'm bringing it down and then I'm gonna curve it into the stem base. Can you see that? And if I over, over went like here, you wanna get a flat brush to clean that out. Okay, so this is the light reflecting on that side. Now, the other side is gonna be softer. It's still gonna be the structure of the glass and it's gonna be a light color, but it's gonna be softer. But I need that to dry before I can do that, so I really don't wanna to touch that. I'm gonna come right in here though and just push it down and pull it out. Okay, so you're just getting that hint. That's what I wanna do. Let's put it in this way. So you're smoothing in. You're smoothing in that, um, softening that left side line, okay? So the pencil mark helps you so you can follow and then you're softly placing in, oops, there we go. 
And as this dries with the medium and everything, it will lighten up a bit too. So you just don't know if it's going to disappear until you get it in there. Okay, there we go. Now, thank you for the stars test. That was so nice of you. I heard that noise. I haven't heard that before. Thank you so much. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to come in here with the corner of my brush and I'm going to just sweep in a little light reflection there. Take the corner of my brush over here and we're going to go back and forth coming out to this curve right here. Okay. And then to finish this off down here, I'm going to give it just a little bit of light reflection there. Okay. So I hope this is making sense to you. You just want to break down where the light hits and where it doesn't. There. Let's strengthen that just a little bit. Okay. So the back is going to be less dominant because the light's not hitting that as much, but I don't want it to completely disappear. And you want that front edge. So that's looking pretty good. Thank you guys. It does take patience. <laughs> All right. So now let's look at the structure of our glass. Some of times, because glass is transparent, you really don't even see the edge, especially when it's round, right? And so a lot of times you just don't even have that line. So what I'm going to do, I want you to see in this picture right here, see how that just disappears right there? Okay. So what I'm going to do is from the top of my glass right here, I'm going to come along the edge. I'm going to come back down now so you guys can see a little better. I'm going to come along the edge and then pull it down that line a little, right? So you're giving a hint that that glass edge turns there, right? So you sweep along here and then pull it down and stand up. And then you come down behind. There's some light reflecting here. So you float that in there. All the wet marks will go away. And then you're going to come right here in front of the bowl and stand it up to the bottom. Okay. So you're just giving with that white and it's going to get transparent as it dries. Just a little bit of a hint that there's um, a roundness there. Okay. And then what happens is you take an eraser and you get rid of the rest of that line. And the glass will give the person who's looking at it the impression that it goes around even without the line being there. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, so now let's finish up the top rim. I'm going to come around the back first. Oops, I need a little bit stronger white. I made these pencil lines dark so you guys could see them. If you were doing this at home, you would not do them quite so strong. Okay. All right. So there's the back and then we're going to pull this white back over here. All right. Everybody with me so far. And then on this edge, the, there's a big amount of light hitting this edge. So we're actually going to be able to pull this down flat. Like we're floating a thin line though. So this is a wimpy floating and then bring it down into the bottom of the glass. Okay. And there isn't much reflection down here. I want you to see the picture again, right? We've got all this white here and then nothing down there. Okay. So I'm going to continue to build this out just a little more. There we go. Just keep following the curve of that glass so you don't make some strange shape that's not there. Okay. All right. Now you have just a little bit, a hint of this coming around right there. We don't want to make that too strong. And we've got this back right there. Okay. So we're starting to get this glass structure built and then where it meets here at the bottom, 
we want to bring that together. Okay, so right there, float that in there. This could be dark or it could be light. Okay, and I want to get rid of my white now real quick and do a couple of things with this wine. So I'm going to come get some medium again and I'm going to side load some of this brown. Side load the brown and we're going to come right below, actually right where this white is, I shouldn't have put that white in there, right there. Okay, that's kind of a dark shadow underneath. That's caused by where the stem meets the bowl. There we go. And then I want to come along this edge, but I need to add some berry wine in with that brown. So I'm just grabbing berry wine with that real brown and we're going to come right across. There we go. There. So where we had the highlight over there, now we have this kind of darker color coming across, giving you that impression that the wine is sitting in the glass. And I'm going to bring some of this back across this side. So there's a little bit of glare, but now you can see what I was talking about. And to finish that, I'm going to come down this edge as well. There we go. Okay, so now we've got some depth to our glass contents. A little bit more of this wine, berry wine in here, darken this up just a hair. So it's a little darker than the top. Okay. There, that looks more like what I wanted it to be. Okay, so now here's where we finish it. Okay, so you've got, I want to come now to my the eight flat that I was going to grab earlier. And we're going to get some strong white, so no medium. You're just picking up white on the chisel edge of the brush, just about that much, okay, on one side. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to come from the top of the glass right at the rim here and you're going to push down and stroke down and lift. And see how that just immediately creates the look of reflection on that side of the glass. See how now it's starting to look round. Now I'm going to take that same loaded brush, getting a little more of that white and I'm going to come from here and I'm going to pull, whoops, push and pull it up like that. So now we've got a reflection on the back of the glass. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing from the front of the wine where it meets the glass. We're going to come up like this. So now it's a continuation of this light hitting the, the liquid in the glass and then the back of the glass. Okay, right here, a little single chisel stroke. And let's come back here now, a little stronger white on the chisel. I'm going to pull this down like that. A little pressure and then stand it. So see how that's now created the look of this glass container without actually having to figure out how to create glass. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come right in here and pull another streak down there. And then to finish, let me do one more line like that in the stem on the right side. You got to steady yourself with your pinky so that it stays straight. Okay. And then as it gets down here to the bottom, I shouldn't have curved it yet. There we go. 
Okay, I can get rid of this. All right, now a couple last touches. I'm gonna take the corner of my brush and I'm gonna come right along here. Let me come back down one last time so you can see this, okay? I'm gonna come right along here and I'm just gonna put little small dots of light right in there. There's one right there. There's a little dot right there. One here. I'm looking at my picture right there. Okay, so these are just little reflective catch lights. I'm gonna come down here. See, this didn't stay as strong as I wanted it to, so I'm gonna put in some stronger, oh, sorry, sorry, right there. I came in and put in some stronger white right here and then right here. Okay, so you're trying to give that impression of light hitting these curves. So there's a hard light right there and a little hard one right there. And then along this left side of the stem, another little sputter marks, okay, like that. So now, let's pull this back and you've got your glass of wine. You've got reflection on the liquid itself, right? You could continue. There's a few other spots I see now that I didn't see, so you have to really pay attention. Right, so right over here, right there. We have this one here, but there's another one right there. Okay, but they're, they're curved, right? The light hitting here, over here. And maybe a little bit across that rim, all right? So how cool is that? I really enjoyed figuring out how to create that. And I hope that helps you guys when it comes time for you to do something like this. And so it's not hard. You just have to think it through, break it down and step by step. And you're just going to get some inky berry wine in this case and sign that and there you go. That's pretty awesome. So there we have our glass and liquid light reflection lesson.